And so now um, we're going to turn from a panel to a technology pop-up, and we've got um, a Daisy Yumi Asami, the Director of Renewable uh, Technology and Innovation from AES, who's going to talk to us about how AES has developed a robot, a robot to help build new solar facilities, another one of our critical clean energy technologies, how to build them faster. This I cannot wait to see. So Daisy, please come on up and look forward to it. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm very excited to be here to share with you how um, we are reimagining solar at AES. Um, the prior panel, Racing to Zero, provides a good framing that goes straight to the heart of why we are developing Atlas. We know that um, commitments to net zero are only intensifying, and we know that the future of energy will be predominantly powered by renewable. Me and being solar, thanks for all of that. Um, so what we what we do is, is to look into what is happening in the world and what we can do to innovate. So by applying um, innovation, we asked ourselves, how can we accelerate um, solar? How can we increase the pace in which we are bringing solar into operation? So with that in mind, we created a couple of insights in which we identified that 70% of all activities involved in solar construction, um, they are highly, highly repetitive, out of which 40% is solely focused on the installation of solar panels. So combining this opportunity of um, really opportunity to innovate and solving for this problem, AS also combined um, certain micro trends that we see happening. So panels are getting bigger in size and heavier. So I'm not sure how many of you had an opportunity to go to the gym early this morning and lift a couple of weights. But if you imagine yourself lifting 80 pounds, not only for a couple of times, but lifting 100 times per day, many days in a month for a couple of months, that's exactly what our workforce um, goes through um, in our solar farms. So, not only, obviously, on a solar site, you would have um, probably one person supporting you with installation of one single solar panel. However, with panels weighing now from not only 80 pounds, but 90 pounds, it's actually requiring three people to install one single solar panel. What we've seen is that we have this workforce um, shortage, and if we are really committed into meeting 100% clean energy, especially here in the US, by 2035, um, we know that the workforce will have to quadruple, four times more. So focusing on all of that, we've been developing Atlas. It comes from a multi-year program. Um, we worked from ideation to incorporating a lot of design thinking in order to validate key technologies. So a clear example is, um, for example, ro um, robotic arms. They are a very mature technology, um, widely used in the factory, but they are perfect for indoors applications. So for outdoors application, we had to find the perfect robotic arm, but not only that, we had to develop a way in which we could power the entire system on board of Atlas. So we developed a nanogrid. On top of all of that, we also incorporated a lot of um, advanced computer vision. We also trained the neural network of Atlas. Um, and we spent a lot of time doing so because it's important that in an outdoors environment, we have a way in which we can um, identify the panels, the torque tubes, the clamps in different light conditions, um, also in different positions and so on. So we developed Atlas with safety in mind, um, but not only safety, but also looking for increasing the performance of the solution of solar panels. 
Safety is our number one value. And at AES, our purpose is to explore the future of energy together. And by together, I mean together all of us with robots or not. Um, but especially when we try to innovate with at AES, we bring um, this context, this entrepreneurship, and we combine that with other industries' expertise. In the case of Atlas, we work with Calvary Robotics, um, and many other third parties that help us get where we are today. That is the system, the video that you just saw, is Atlas um, in California. It was one of its teams. Next month, we are confirmed to go to the you know, Obviously, there's a lot to come still and a lot to be developed for Atlas. We are already working with the next generation of the system, and we are very excited to what comes next. But, um, that's all I have for today. It was a pleasure to share with you a little bit of our journey on developing networks. Thank you.